hi, my name is Lindsay Whittle, and I'm from Northern Kentucky, which is really close to Cincinnati, Ohio. And I did Residency Unlimited from May to July of 2022. It was generously funded by the Great Meadows Foundation, and I also received the adjunct practice grant from the Art Academy of Cincinnati to do this experience. Um, and right before I um, started all these flag projects, I actually ran the Hero Cape design for Artwork Cincinnati, where we developed flags with uh, young people. That's actually how I started to be interested in collaborating with my collaborator, Ben Cook. He would come in and give flag presentations. That's kind of how this all got started. These flags kind of work with the idea of teamwork. I've been building 25 collaboration languages. So each of my flags kind of reference different people that I actively collaborate with or talk about art ideas with. Um, ben is actually a vexiologist, so that's someone that studies flags. So this is a project that we love to we each make flags, so some of these flags are bends, like this one right here and that one up there, and there's one kind of hidden around the corner. Um, but we also met a lot over Zoom and we would discuss things. And then of course I got amazing feedback from different curators from RU, and I was able to show my work at an open studio in June, um, and I got a lot of feedback there. So I feel like a lot of minds are present in this work, which is what I love. I love when work is alive and I love um, there's this Hindu parable, and it's three blind men approach an elephant. One grabs the leg and thinks that the elephant's a tree. One grabs the trunk and thinks the elephant is a snake. And one grabs the ear and thinks the elephant is a bird. So individually, they have no idea what an elephant is, and together they're starting to understand it. And that's sort of how I approach my work, is I bring a lot of minds together and we get a little bit closer um, to the elephant. So most of these are interactive, they have different functions. Um, and I've been performing them throughout the day and I've also been inviting people to perform with these mini flags with me. Um, so yeah, this is the third variation of 4D flag and I hope to keep working on it for years to come and I'm really grateful for the chance this summer I had to, to further develop it conceptually and all the things that I, that I made here and to be able to, this is our first time showing it outside. Um, you know, flags are meant to, they're meant to wave and get sunlight and stuff. So. Yeah, it's really exciting.